In a cardiac emergency, a defibrillator can be a lifesaver. It senses if the heart stops and can actually shock the heart internally and return normal function. The device takes several forms, including AEDs, or automatic external defibrillators. Those are the ones you see in public places, like malls, golf courses, and stadiums. These are devices that if I had a cardiac arrest, someone could apply these pads, either a trained layperson or a fireman, could apply these and shock my heart externally. Defibrillators are also surgically implanted in patients to protect their hearts from the inside out. In someone who's at very high risk, having that device already internally implanted means that it's automatic. A new option is the wearable defibrillator, a hybrid of sorts it's worn outside the body. It can still monitor the heart just like an internal device and deliver a life-saving jolt. In people whose heart muscle function is very poor and statistically are at a high risk for a cardiac arrest. The wearable defibrillator serves as a bridge of sorts for someone waiting on advanced treatment. It's worn on average for 60 days. And can be used temporarily in anticipation usually that the person might go on, for example, and have a heart transplantation in the future. When it comes to matters of the heart, a little shock value goes a long way. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.